Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I hope na yung mga math videos ko ay makakatulong sa inyo in solving word problems or mathematical problems. And maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. And sana maging masaya lang tayo in solving those kind of problems. Again, salamat and God bless. Hi, good day. It's me, Teacher Gon. For today's video, we will have this topic on how to solve radical equations. So I have here three questions for the part one of our video in, on how to solve radical equations. In item number one, we have here the square root of x that is equal to 7. So how are we going to solve for this kind of equation? First thing you need to do is think on how to eliminate the radical sign in this equation. So, how to eliminate this one? First, you need to copy the problem. The square root of x that is equal to 7. To eliminate the radical sign, you need to square both sides of the equation. Square root of x raised to 2 and then 7 raised to 2. In this case, you can eliminate the radical sign and square. So, you will have x and then on the other side, the answer is 49. This is the value of x in item number 1. So let's have item number 2. In item number 2, we are having the square root of x minus 4 is equal to 3. Same thing you need to do is to square both sides of the equation. And then you can eliminate the radical sign. And then you will have x minus 4 that is equal to 9. And simplifying this one, to solve for the value of x, just need to add 4 to both sides of the equation. And the value of x here is simply 13. This is the answer for item number 2. Now let's proceed with item number 3 of this video. We have 10 times the square root of 9x that is equal to 60. So what we're going to do first is to eliminate the radical sign. We need to copy the given radical equation. We have 10 square root of 9x that is equal to 60. So first thing you need to do square both sides of the equation or raise it by 2. So in this case, as you can see, we have your coefficient. So how are we going to deal with this one? This one will be raised also by 2. So that is 10 raised to 2 and then square root of 9x raised to 2. That is equal to 3600. Okay? So this is 100 times 9x because we can eliminate the radical sign and this one is equal to 3,600. So you can divide it by 100 first. Cancel, cancel. You will have 9x that is equal to 36. And simplifying this one, you have 9x is equal to 36. Just divide both sides of the equation by 9. And the value of x here is simply 4. This is the answer for item number 3. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have something about this topic, you can write some comments in our YouTube video. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Again, I am teacher.